Let me confirm this. Again, blaming my non-preparation on the fact that I wasn't supposed to be casting right now, but uh, this is just sort of the way that things go. All right, we're going to call it a best of three. Un un until I get told otherwise by a screaming Twitch chat saying, Fear Dragon, how the hell did you not come prepared to this? Spawning down here in the bottom left-hand corner of the map, we have the yellow Zerg player. We're from Team Ascension. Give it up for game time. And his opponent spawning down here in the bottom right-hand corner of the map, the red Protoss player from Cystorm Gaming leading up the series 1-0. It's Peely Peely. And actually, one thing I didn't really get to check either was my microphone volume. Let me double check that it's not... Okay, yeah, it's like crazy louder, so... Let me turn it down a little bit so it'll be a little bit... I'm gonna be a bit quieter now, but I'll be at least a little bit more even with the game sound, so... You guys will be able to hear it a little bit better. Alright, so, so far we got Peely Peely going for the gateway expansion on the low ground. This is something that's pretty common these days, but I will say... New Gettysburg is one of the few maps that I still end up seeing some Protoss players still try and go for the wall off at the ramp or by their Nexus. Uh, Nexus is definitely less common these days. I feel like Raw off the ramp is still more common, but yeah, it seems like oh, across all the maps at this point, more and more players are just going for those wall offs at the uh, natural expansion ramp. They're tired of dealing with, uh, I guess, some of the other forms of aggression that can be thrown out at them. Game time, on the other hand, I will note he's a player that has been capable of going for cheese but honestly more often than not he's playing out those macro games and one of the really strong traits about game time i feel like is when he is able to i guess play out a a best of whatever really well just because i think he's been playing in so many online events not just playing on the ladder all the time playing in a lot of tournaments themselves he's gotten a lot more experience at learning how to mix things up try out different things play best ofs and throw different things and adapt to their his opponent uh, much better. I'm actually not sure, by the way, I just realized. I may or may not be allowed to show that. I'm going to just hide it just in case because I'm not sure. I'll, uh, I'll ask Grifkin later if I'm allowed to show Coast Corsair on the overlay. But all right, we got an Adept making his way across the map right now. Now, Peely Peely, I will say, he is known for his Adept play. He loves his Adepts. I know that people think Aneeb loves his Adepts. Peely Peely is a man who loves his Adepts. And he's going to be going for that fast Twilight Cancel. Wouldn't be too surprised to see something like two more gateways being thrown down, coming out for uh, fast Resonating Glaze. But still, it seems like with no gateways being thrown down just yet, we may very well be seeing uh, Adept getting surrounded really quickly. Wow, that was a really, really quick Adept cleanup. Nice surround over there from game time. That was exceptionally well handled but yeah resonating glaze is going to be coming out it looks like we have one gateway being thrown down i don't know if he was just waiting to take out the overlord that may be part of the reason why he has been holding off on those gateways from being thrown down but at this point i think peely peely should be thinking about either third expansion or throwing down one to six more gates anywhere between or i guess five more gateways is the more common thing going up to seven uh sometime soon but, okay, there's the third gateway. We're waiting to see if we get any more. It seems like he probably just wants to go for the expansion at this point, because otherwise, I imagine he'd be throwing down gateways out the wazoo right now, having cleaned up the Overlord, knowing that he's not going to be scouted for a while. But we are going to be seeing Baneling Ness coming down from game time, so he's going to try and defend this with the sort of newer age style. It feels weird to just call it new age style anymore. It's uh, been around for a bit now, but it is sort of just that quote-unquote new age style of zvp where you go for the bailing nest you sometimes lead into the mutilus you get the melee upgrades and everything and this can do okay but i feel like more and more protoss players have just gotten better and better at splitting up their adepts versus the bane links not taking massive amounts of splash damage also situating their adepts in really good spots where they're spread out but in a mineral line so they can hide in these little choke points so the zerglings don't get a lot of surface area but the bailings also don't get a lot of splash damage on them but it looks like this is going to be the big play for Peely Peely. He's going for the double Stargate. And the way the double Stargate works out in this matchup is it pairs pretty well with going for a lot of Adepts. But most importantly, you see a lot of map control. And I want to just say this with a tint, a small little hint of hope. This is New Gettysburg. This is a map with island expansions. Ooh, nice uh, placement of these Adepts, by the way. It's going to make it very difficult for those Zerglings to actually engage against these Adepts on the bridge, just because they won't be able to get us around. But if Peely Peely can seize total map control with those massive waves of Phoenix coming out, ooh, I, I really like that. 
letting two adepts finish just to get a bit of scouting information and take maybe a good trade balin's coming on in though and exploding on all three of those uh, adepts and mansha plus bust their way through Pila Pila doesn't have a lot of units out right now he's got two phoenix three adepts that are uh, fairly freshly warped in over at this third expansion and a stalker that really is not going to be that much now luckily for Pili Pili there's no more Banelings left over but I feel like these Zerglings hey if you want to go after the sucker I guess you can get it but go after the third expansion go there before all the pylons finish up and it looks like it's gonna be a little bit too late two more adepts are gonna be able to be warped in with photon overcharges coming out looks like Pili Pili should be able to defend his third expansion and I feel like that could have really been in danger that's a little bit of hit or miss game time took a risk he said oh you know natural expansion there's only one stalker there maybe I can force out a gateway but he is going to be the double stargate play and game time is still unaware of this he's finally going to see four phoenix coming out of nowhere and this may be a little bit of a reveal I'm not sure if you might anticipate this was out of one stargate but this is much much later than four phoenix would be coming out if this is a fast stargate opening he should have known at this point that resonating glaives was researched he saw the adepts around if he was paying attention should have noticed the upgrade so now you can see he's throwing down all the spore colors he's already getting out the hydralis this is something he was planning to get out anyways so he should be able to eventually deal with this but he's going to be taking a little bit of damage but again island expansions if you have total air dominance it's hard for your opponent to do things like even overlord drops you can still make the overlord drops happen just because the phoenixes are not really going to be often patrolling that bottom area they're going to be wanting to look to do damage and moving around the map actively lifting up queens drones hydralists in small numbers like this so you can still get the overlord drops off at those island expansions it just is a much much more difficult proposition So the muscular augments upgrade coming on out game time is going to be getting ready to move into the later stages he's getting up hydroling bane which can be an effective composition versus what pila pila is going for and pila pila is going for another twilight council he didn't lose his twilight council did he no he's got no twilight council already finished up this is a bit of a mistake um pila pila I, i'm actually now wondering if he really intended going into this game when they spawned and he thought i'm gonna open double stargate no it really seems like this may have been a reactionary thing and he's sort of incidentally realizing like okay now that i've done my double stargate opening let's go at our twilight council so we can get our upgrades and he's gonna realize pretty soon i'm sure that he already has a twilight council and i guess now we can research charge and blink at the same time not exactly the reason why i imagine he's went for that but still double immortal production he's gonna have his templar archives out probably wants to start thinking about a fourth expansion at some point just because he's throwing down so much tech right now he's got double stargate double robotically double twilight council guys he's got double everything for all the forms of tech that protoss players care about uh hopefully he doesn't throw down double templar archives but regardless this phoenix control is going to be pretty massive he's already getting a decent amount of damage done even though he's fallen a bit behind in supply and it's mostly that army supply it's about the value of this army that he's going to be making he doesn't have a lot of great upgrades but then again game time's only sitting on plus two melee attacks so pila pila is not too far behind the big thing i will say is pila pila is going to have archons he's going to have immortals he's going to have phoenix he's going to have pretty much everything his heart desires uh besides maybe he wants to start thinking about getting up a uh, psy storm as well that would be one really big thing that could help out quite a bit having a bit of that splash damage but he's already got charge as well so he's gonna have that frontline tank with the archons and charge looks like the archons and or the archon and the immortals are both scattered out by zergling so game time might kind of recognize that he has got to make his move in sometime soon before pili pili really starts to spiral too far out of control lurker den is also on the way but game time is going to be going right now he's going to catch pili pili a bit of an awkward angle where his army is mostly up by that fourth expansion but doesn't look like game time really wants to commit he's going to be spreading out his army trying to make it as hard as possible for pili pili to really engage on into this a lot of bailing din caught behind the hydralis making it a lot easier for these phoenix to lift up the bailings and this is not going too poorly for pila pila he does need a larger army to deal with this though he really does not have the army he needs to take this on phoenixes are going to come in and try and lift up as many units as possible the immortals doing a pretty good job staying alive in the back line most of the zealous and the adepts have been taken out but pila pila managed to hold without really taking massive losses he's warping in more of those high Templar are getting out more of the archons the lurker den is going to be finishing up pretty soon though and that might cue game times wave number two from coming out 
He really needs to also think about getting that fourth expansion saturated. He's got to make use of it, considering Peely Peely is almost as saturated as game time. But okay, there we go. Lurker Dance finished up. We have more Bailings being made, and there are finally some of the Lurkers coming out. Game time actually doesn't have that big of a bank right now. And loot lost a lot of units over there trying to push up that ramp. It seemed like he was doing some pretty good damage, but again, Peely Peely just replaces that supply with more Immortals. Gets some of those Archons back up, and he's good to go again. He's ready to brawl. And I do just feel like game time, I don't see the transitionary tech. The Lurkers are obviously going to be very helpful, and I think that Peely Peely maybe needs to start thinking about getting out Disruptor or Robotics Bay, or at least uh, getting up Psystorm Research at some point. But otherwise, Immortals are a temporary solution. Once your opponent gets up to a massive number of Lurkers, it does become another problem entirely. Phoenixes would also be helpful if they can lift up. I don't think that Peely Peely has more than one Observer, though. It doesn't look like he's going to matter, though, since there are no Overseers with this army. Lurkers burrowing. In a decent-ish spot, but the uh, Observer does come out and should be able to spot out all those Lurkers. Cybernetic score gets taken down. That's going to be kind of annoying for Peely Peely. He's going to be really relying on those charge lots to be warped in right now, which isn't going to be too bad of a choice for considering he's going to be able to catch a lot of this army from two different angles. Immortals coming in from the backside, cleaning up a majority of the Lurkers, and it seems like this army is not going to be long for this world for game time. It gets absolutely obliterated, and again... Game time does not have a bank to replenish that army. Eight Hydras and 16 Zergens coming out. Yeah, that's really not going to do a whole lot versus this army of Peely Peely. GG gets called. Peely Peely going to be taking the game and the series potentially, if I am correct. Let me also open up my soundboard. <laughs> Pretend like this is a little bit more hype because I didn't forget to get all my production stuff set up. But Peely Peely takes the game and I believe the series, since I think this is a best of three, moves on to face off versus Neeb. If it is a best of three. I'm going to keep adding that if it's a best of three addendum. Because I don't want to be calling this a little bit too early. Best of threes. Just making sure. Best of three, right? I'm pretty sure it's a best of three.